The usual way of doing real-time video light painting is by using an HDMI converter that takes the HDMI feed from the camera and brings it to the computer. But we recently added in the software the possibility to bypass this converter and connect the camera directly to the computer by USB. This has some disadvantages, but it makes things a bit simpler. First of all, you don't need to install anything more, it is going to work without the need of any additional drivers. Be aware that you are going to be limited to a resolution of a thousand pixels wide, but this restriction comes from the camera and we hope to see Canon increase the resolution in the near future. On the other hand, you have access to many more camera models as you don't have to look for a clean HDMI feed. Models like the T6 and the SL1 are going to work with no problem. For my current session, I'm using a point-and-shoot camera, the Canon G7X Mark III. I really like this one as it can be controlled and powered by the same cable. The setup is quite simple. I have a USB cable running from the camera to the computer. The camera is on video mode and Virtual Ink is running with the G7X3 selected. Make sure that you're running at 24 frames per second both on the camera and in virtual ink and that the shutter speed of the camera is 25 of a second. A thousand pixels is not a lot, but by using the butterfly mode or any of the mirror modes, you can put more pixels inside a 1080p frame, which is great for these small abstract light painting series. The tool I used in this one is a 12 inches flex needle in a Kyotube connector. Mm -hmm. 